Hey guys, it's Master Kiz here with a little bit of a video. Hello! I'm filming on a 50mm lens so I can't really get myself in here. Uh, this is a very small room but obviously it's a hardware video so I've decided to update my PC and I thought I'd make a little bit of a video to show you the, the parts I've chosen and uh, yeah you guys can comment and let me know what do you think of the choices, uh, whether I'm an idiot or whether I know what I'm doing. But, so we'll go through what we've got here. So first thing, we should, I suppose we should start with the motherboard. So I've chosen the Asus, uh, it's the P8Z77V Pro motherboard. Uh, PCI 3.0, USB 3.0, it's a Z77 chipset, so it's Ivy Bridge compatible. Uh, ready to go, really nice board. It is extremely heavy, which is the thing, first thing I noticed when I actually got the package, that that's the heaviest thing here. Uh, I don't know if it's full of cables or whether it's just the heat sinks on the board. It is extremely heavy. So none of this has been opened. All of this has just arrived. And I thought I'd just do the video before I start installing it all. Um, so the chip I've chosen is the i7-2600K. Uh, a lot of people will probably think, why haven't you chosen Ivy Bridge? Uh, the 2600K is a proven performer. Uh, I know it will perform and I know I'll be happy with the performance. Fucking plane going over my house again. I've tried to record this video fucking so many times. So you can have the plane going over. I'm not recording it again. <laughs> fucking planes. Um, yeah, so the next thing, uh, the memory, I've chosen 16 gig of Corsair uh, Vengeance RAM. So I chose the, the twin stick kit. So it's actually twin sticks instead of actually a quad stick kit purely because in the future I actually probably will upgrade to 32 gig of RAM. Uh, a lot of people think that's silly but if you do any high definition video editing you can never have enough RAM. Uh, if, you, you, if I could run 64 gig of RAM in the system I would but to start with 16 gig is fine. Uh, back here we've got a SSD so this was one of the ones I had the most trouble uh, choosing whether to do it or not, the SSDs are extremely expensive. Uh, so to put it in perspective, that's the motherboard that runs the entire system, that does everything. This was more expensive than the motherboard and it's just a little drive. So, but at the moment in Australia, I say these SSDs from SanDisk are the best value. This is a 240 gig SSD and the current retail price is around 240, $250 and for, to get down to a dollar per gigabyte in a high performance SSD is quite good. I'm pretty sure this one uh, actually has the same specs, pretty much identical to the Corsair uh, Force drives. It writes at uh, 555 megabytes per second, so quite a fast drive and extremely good value. So can't wait to play with that, do some benches and see how it runs. Uh, this side here, Corsair H80. Of course, everyone knows what that is. I'll just slide it across so you can see it a bit more. There we go. <laughs> um, Corsair H80, of course, is a self-contained liquid cooling system. Uh, I really like how they look in the case. It gets rid of the clutter of the air cooler, and it, it just looks looks quite neat. So that's what I've chosen to cool the i7-2600K. And the last thing here is the beast, GeForce. GDX670 from EVGA, 2 gigabyte version. So I wanted the 4 gigabyte version, but they didn't have one in stock at the moment. And this build uh, is actually something I wanted to do on extremely short notice. So I just fired off the order straight away. And this is what I've got. Uh, I only play in 1920 by 1080, so 2 gigabytes of memory on a graphics card should be more than enough for that particular resolution. And it does leave me the opportunity to go SLI in the future if I wanted to. Um, but at the moment, I think this would be quite a nice system. So I'll leave the video there and the next video will probably be everything installed in the case and all working. Uh, I'm gonna try and cut the video before this plane flies over. And yeah, let me know what you think, guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you later.